Okay, a new week starts and yes. it gets off to a great start. Beautiful weather today. Hi, Jeff. Nice to see you. Uh, yeah, nice to see you both. I know it's 70s, sunshine. I know. We got a big turn coming yeah, our way, happy though. Spring. Oh. Yes, spring's <laughs> almost turn. here and uh, some rainfall coming our way. So Yay. that's going to be, yes, yeah, really, really good uh, to get some raindrops in here across the Bay Area. Let's go ahead and bring you into that microclimate forecast this afternoon and check it out. You'll see in San Jose, we're holding on to that blue sky right now. So hopefully you're able to at least get lunch outside if you're Work from home is over. You had to head back into the office today and these temperatures running about 10 degrees above average. Not good enough for records, but we did get up to 71 here in Concord, 74 in Livermore, Santa Rosa at 70 and San Jose 74. Now let me show you what's happening at the coastline. It seems like a big tease, right? Anytime we get cloud cover lately, but eventually, yes, we're going to get some raindrops out of this cloud cover as our storm system moves in. Now it's a cold front we're tracking right here uh, and as that marches to the east, I do you see chances of some rain picking up later tonight and also through tomorrow. Now it's not the big storm system we'd really like to see. We've had the top 10 driest January and February on record. So if anything, this is just going to help to at least keep the immediate fire danger down. But uh, you know, anything at this point is good for us. So let's bring you into Storm Ranger, our mobile Doppler radar. And on the current scan, we are dry. So if you're headed to the grocery store over the next couple of hours, you'll be good. You won't need the umbrella just yet. But let me take you into the timeline and you'll see by 11 o'clock tonight, we get some rainfall developing up towards Gurn. Burnville, Santa Rosa, some isolated heavier pockets, and generally this will break up as it moves to the south. But I do think for you early commuters around 5 o'clock in the morning, we'll see some rain over Marin, Napa, Sonoma counties, down to San Francisco, the East Bay, a little bit there for the peninsula, spotty shower for the South Bay. And we'll hold with that chance of some scattered rain into 9 o'clock in the morning, lots of cloud cover, and even into the afternoon hours through tomorrow. So not a big storm as we talked about. Totals on this trace amounts to about two-tenths of an inch. You can see most of the Bay Area covered in that blue color goes with those totals up there across the key right here through the North Bay will average about a quarter inch there from Guerneville down through Santa Rosa. So I don't think we'll have any big problems as we head off into your commute tomorrow. Just be ready for some slick spots on those bridges. If you're traveling over the Golden Gate Bay Bridge or San Mateo Bridge we will be down cold though 45 here through the peninsula Tri Valley at 44. Let's bring it here through the East Bay San Francisco and the North Bay and also those 40s returning now with that system moving in. The mid to upper 70s we had today, those are obviously gone. So our reality tomorrow is back to the 60s. I got you at 68 here in San Jose, right through the East Bay. We're up to 69 in Antioch, 66 in Hayward. The Peninsula, 64 in San Mateo, San Francisco, 56 in the Marina, cold up against that coastline, and for the North Bay, 66 in Sonoma. So we got that chance of rain as we move through tomorrow, but there'll be a few more chances coming our way this week. Another one on Thursday, also on Saturday. None of those systems again look strong at this point. We'll also get some breezy to windy conditions as we head into this weekend. You'll see for the inland valleys, we'll go from uh, those upper 60s tomorrow down to 60 on Saturday. So just be ready for a chilly weekend ahead. Spring officially arrives on Sunday, so let's hope Mother Nature stays confused and we keep getting lots of rain chances into spring, <laughs> it right? It's really confusing. I know. Because okay, this weekend it was really nice. Now, next weekend it's actually spring in a little, and I know. it won't be as nice. It's we, all, all over the place. Yeah, we sprang forward a daylight saving time. I'm super confused. It, it's, it's been I posted lot. that I feel like I'm jet lagged <laughs> after just spring forward one hour. I'm, I was so messed up this morning. I'm with okay. you. Thanks, Jeff.